In these problems, we're adding and subtracting with decimals and whole numbers. And when we were adding with decimals, I mentioned that you just need to line the decimal points up. Well, with the whole number, it doesn't look like there's a decimal point there. Well, the decimal point is always right after it. 8 point whatever, in this case 8.0. So the point is right after the 8. So when we line it up to add, we'd have 8 point whatever, and let's see, 25.24. And what I'm going to do is fill in here with trailing zeros, just to make it look all neat and nice. 8.00 is the same thing as 8, so we can do that. And now we can just add this like a normal addition problem. 0 plus 4 is 4, 2 plus 0 is 2, bring down my decimal point. 8 plus 5 is 13, carrying the 1, we get 33.24. Let's try another one. This one says add 1.94 plus 2 plus 4.6. So I'm going to stack them up again, lining up the decimal points. 1.94, 2 point, and I'll fill in with trailing zeros. And then 4.6, another trailing zero there. And then we just add. 4, 9 and 6 is 15. 1 and 1 is 2, and 2 is 4, and 4 is 8. So 8.54. Last one here is a subtraction problem. 8.86 minus 13. So we'll go ahead and set this up. Decimal point is in right there, so my 13 is going to go there, and I'm going to fill in with trailing zeros. 6 minus 0 is 6. 8 minus 0 is 8. There's my decimal point. 8 minus 3 is 5. 1 minus 1 is 0, so I don't have to put anything there. And we have 5.86. So that's how to do addition and subtraction with decimals and whole numbers.